I've been thinking about a question a lot recently, and I really wanted to share with you. The question is, can we truly change the world, or this is just an emotional question? And if we truly want to change, where should we start? Well, change requires a new generation that carries within its heart and soul a different vision. A generation that believes that the future in our hands and the world can indeed become a better place. Well, if we took a close look at reality today, we find out that this generation is the most exhausted. Well, we have gone through years of suffering and depression, carrying burdens on our shoulders, heavier than we ever can be. We have reached a point where no longer seek change, we just want to escape from everything around us. Well, it doesn't end here. Wars have become a habitual part of our lives, like we scroll through the news of death and destruction as if they were mere daily details. Our hearts no longer react for the increasing number of the dead, nor we pay attention for the figures reflecting the immense pain and suffering. Ukraine, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, Sudan, all those places become synonymous with death. We seriously wake up every day to a new death tolls, as if they were part of our daily routine. Guys, behind each number there are stories untold, uh, lives cut short, dreams shattered. In 2023-2024, thousands of children were killed in, in endless conflicts. How terrifying it is that we speak about those numbers as if they were simple statistics. Guys, we are talking about children, the future of the world. We now live in a world where the scene of bloodshed and killing have become let's say familiar, like, we follow them without even feeling the shock or the sorrow that we once did. Our desensitization to violence has stripped us of our humanity, like we see the victims, especially the children, as just part of our beating scene. Guys, at the end, I just want to ask you one thing, please don't let those scenes become ordinary in your heart. And remember that every victim is waiting for justice. And that silence in the face of this injustice is a silent contribution with the continuation of violence. We need to be the voice that demands justice, the ones that stands against murderers and criminals. Remember, silence is a betrayal of a humanity. Muhammad Najah.